Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll study about transmission parameters of two-port network. So, like in the uh, previous uh, lectures of two-port network, we saw that we have to connect either voltage source or current source or combination uh, to the two sides of the network, input side and the output side. And we also saw that in case of a hybrid parameters, we have an equation like this that we need to solve. And in case of a G parameter, we have an equation like this, uh, which we solve to get the G parameters. So in this case also, uh, we'll have uh, an input port uh, with voltage V1 and current I1. And we'll have an output port with voltage V2 and current I2. Now in this case, if you notice, the current direction for I2 is different than what we had previously. Previously it was inbound, now this is outbound. And the reason is that uh, this uh, transmission network is used to connect other devices or other ports. So this current will enter the next port and that is why its direction is outwards. And the set of parameters that we'll solve is uh, as shown here. Uh, for the input uh, voltage and current, V1 and I1, we'll have uh, in terms of output voltage and current, and we have parameters A, B, C, and D. And uh, it's logically it should have been with a plus sign like all these had, but because the sign is going outwards, a minus sign, and that is why we have a negative sign here. And uh, some explanation that the, uh, the two port uh, transmission lines are used, and less such as cables and fibers. And uh, that is why it is name is uh, transmission parameters and they express the sending and variables that is v1 and i1 sending and variables in terms of receiving and variables that is v2 and i2 the transmission parameters is also called avcd parameters and it is also possible that instead of uh, finding v1 and i1 in terms of V2 and I2, we can find the output parameters V2 and I2 in terms of input parameters V1 and I1. And just to distinguish the two, we have now small a, small b, small c, small d as the parameters that we need to find. And the parameters A, B, C, D in this case is called the inverse transmission parameters or small t parameters and uh, we have to keep in mind uh, that like in case of a a it will be v1 over v2 so this will be voltage divided by voltage so it is a ratio of voltage so a will not have any unit it's kind of a gain but in case of an i uh, in case of a b it will be V1 divided by I2. So V divided by I will be impedance. So its unit will be ohm. Similarly, in case of a C, it will be I divided by V, that is admittance. So its unit will be Siemens. And in case of a D, it is I divided by I, so no unit. So this is what is uh, written here. Now, uh, the technique that we'll follow is, first of all, to find A and C. We'll put the second term as equal to zero. That means we'll put I2 is equal to zero. And how it is done is that we open the output terminal. So it's open circuit, so no current flows in this. And similarly, for the second part, that is to find B and D, we make the first part zero, that is V2 is made zero. 
and how we make V to zero is we short circuit the terminal output terminal. So in this case, V two will become zero. So this is the two techniques that we uh, will follow. Okay, let's uh, solve an example. We have to find the transmission parameters for the given circuit. So we have to make the current zero to find A and C. So our circuit will become like this, that the output terminal, we open circuit it, open it. So I2 current is zero and we connect a voltage source in the input V1. And now, if you look here, to find A, we have to find a ratio of V1 and V2. So, what is V2 in this case? V2 is here. And since no current is flowing, that is I2 is 0, there will be no voltage drop in 6 ohms. Therefore, the same voltage will appear across 4 ohm resistance. So, the voltage here is V2. And by voltage deviation rule, we can now say that V2 is V1 divided by the resistance, that is 2 plus 4, and multiplied by this resistance across which we want to find V2. So multiply by 4. And from here, we can find the parameter A. You see parameter A from here is V1 over V2. So A is V1 over V2 and uh, if you bring V2 on this side and take this on the other side, so it will be 6 over 4, that means 3 over 2, that means 1.5 and since it is a ratio of voltage and voltage, so no unit. The next parameter we need to find is C, which is the ratio of I1 and V2. Now V2 is here, and how it relates to I2 is through Ohm's law. V2 is equal to 4 into I1. So 4 into I1, because I2 is 0, so that it is only 4 into I1. And from here, we can find the C parameter, I1 divided by V2. So I1 divided by V2, and from here I1 divided by V2, this 4 will go on the other side, it will become 1 over 4. And since it is current divided by voltage, therefore it's a uh, case of an um, admittance, and its unit says it's Siemens. So it is 1 over 4 Siemens, or 250 milli Siemens. Okay, now we come on to the second part, that is to find B and D. And from here, we have to, we can see that we have to put V2 is equal to zero. And this is done by short circuiting the output terminal, so V2 becomes zero. But in this case now, I2 is not zero. So we'll have to take I2 into consideration. And if you see here, we have taken the two current directions, I1 and I2 following these two and we have also marked the polarity of the uh, voltage voltages across the resistors and we follow the convention that wherever the current touches first that end becomes positive and the other negative and same here and same here and now we'll uh, write the mesh equation kvl equation from we start from a left uh, one side, I start from left hand side, and we go clockwise. So first of all, it is minus V1, so I'll write minus V1, and then plus 2 into I1, so plus 2 into I1, and plus 4 into I1 and I2, both are following, are flowing through this in the same direction, that is why they are additive. So 4 I1, plus I2 is equal to 0 and we can simplify to get equation number 1. Now let's go to mesh number 2. We start again from the left hand corner and since it is negative sign uh, first it will be same negative sign because of this also it will be positive here and negative here. So we'll write negative 4 
i1 plus i2 or i2 plus i1 so negative 4 i2 plus i1 and this is minus we are going from here so minus coming first so minus 6 into i2 so minus 6 into i2 is equal to 0 and solving this we find i1 to be minus 5 over 2 i2 and now put, putting the value of this i1 in this equation uh, and uh, simplifying we get this value that minus v1 is equal to minus 11 i2 equals 0 and from this equation now we can find the term b b is v1 divided by i2 with a negative sign so minus v1 divided by i2 and from here you can get uh, if you take this on the right hand side and then by dividing um, by i2 we get it to be 11. Similarly from equation number 2 we find the d parameter which is i1 divided by i2 with a minus sign so i1 divided by i2 and i1 we have found to be uh, 5 by 2 i2 and so if I take i2 on this side it will be uh, and uh, taking the minus sign so it will be 5 by 2 that is 2.5 now this is ratio of current so no unit this was the ratio or the voltage divided by current so its unit is ohms okay another example uh, here also we have to find the transmission parameter so we follow exactly uh, the same logic or same technique that we followed to find out a and c make i2 0 open circuit the output terminal so i2 becomes 0 and mark the current directions and write the uh, or okay so we mark the current directions Now if you see A1 is V1 over V2, since this is open, uh, no current is flowing and therefore uh, from mesh 1 we can write minus V1 here, minus V1 plus 10 I1 plus 10 I1 and plus 20 I1 plus I2 and from here since I2 is 0 therefore we uh, put I2 0 this is the uh, equation that we get and after simplifying we get V1 is equal to 30 I and now coming on to mesh 2 we start from this corner so it is minus 20 i1 plus i2 minus 20 i1 plus i2 this is plus this is a voltage source current dependent voltage source and from here going plus sign is coming first so we'll write plus 3i and this voltage v2 v2 is equal to 0 and here also we put i2 is equal to 0 therefore this is the uh, simplified equation and from here we can write v2 to be 17 i1 and so the uh, a parameter if you can see from here a parameter is v1 over v2 we have found v1 to be 30 and v2 to be 17 so 30 i1 divided by 17 i1 is 1.765 and since it is a ratio of voltage so no unit and now coming to c c is i1 over v2 so i1 is i1 and v2 in terms of i1 is 17 i1 so we get the answer 0 0.0588 c because it is an 
uh, admittance. Uh, the second part to find B and D, we have to remove V2, make V2 0, so we short circuit it. And we need to establish a relationship between I1 and I2 and a relationship between V1 and I2 to solve this. Okay, same technique, mark the current direction, voltage polarities and the KVL in mesh number 1. So we're starting from here, minus V1, 10 I1 and 20 I1 plus I2 is equal to 0. And since I2 is not 0 in this case now, so we have to keep I2. And going into the mesh number 2, starting from here, it is minus 20 I1 plus I2 plus 3 I1. Minus 20 I1 plus I2 plus 3 I1 is equal to 0. And simplifying, get this term. And from here we can find, all right, I1 is equal to minus 20 over 17 I2. And from equation number 2, from here we can find the D parameter. D parameter is the ratio of I1 by I2. So minus I1 by I2. And from here also if you take the minus sign on that side, I2 on that side, so we left is 20 over 17, which is 1.176. So we found D, now let's find B. In equation number 1, we put the value of I1, which was this, from here. And by solving, we get this term. V1 is equal to minus 260, 17, I2. And from equation 3, from here, we know that B from here, B is V1 over I2 minus, so minus B1, V1 over I2. And from here also, if you take the minus sign on that side and I2 on that side, so it will be 260 over 17 which is equal to 15.29 and since it is voltage divided by current so it, it is uh, resistance so or impedance its unit is uh, in ohms. So I hope uh, this gives you some idea as to how to solve uh, uh, the transmission parameter problems. If this video was of any use to you please subscribe my channel. Thank you.